Hello guys and welcome back to the second instalment of today's live stream. So, we'll wait until we get a few more people in here before we go through all of the details, but today we are working on the map for the new series, which will be coming soon to my YouTube channel. And I'll probably do, be doing a bit more in terms of the actual live stream itself as well. Um, we have just worked out a really great way to create um, cliffs using the network. What was it? It was called the... Da, 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 da. Whatever it was called, let me check. There we go, the terraforming network. We've been using this to create some really cool um, structures in the water so here we've got some little cliffs that have slowly broken down over the years and we just basically have been using this to create it the network terraforming works absolute wonders when you're working on this sort of thing now something I never realized until very recently in fact today <laughs> hello Jared hello super car spots and Frankenstein have I missed something right where is the new map located so the new map which um, will be the new series for my channel is located in the United Kingdom so I'm going back to my roots I'm gonna be building a complete UK build the map if you are a UK resident you'll probably notice that this map is actually a reconstruction of the Isle of Wight which is the south end of the United Kingdom between basically Portsmouth and France. So the series is going to be all about the UK build. Um, we are not going to be doing a like for like um, build such as we did for Monaco. It's going to be a bit more uh, a bit more open and creative for some freedom of design. Um, but that's pretty much the plan. So today's stream, we're just gonna start detailing the map. As you see, the, the main core is down now. We've been working with Mr. Miyagi to get a new theme. So we've got these beautiful white cliffs, which um, will be released on the workshop at some point. We've also been working with Avania to create these um, beautiful, um, what they called, I forget what she calls them now. I think they're cliff, net, uh, cliff decals. So yeah, similar to the ones which we had for Monaco, we've got some white ones now, which um, as I'm sort of demonstrating here, can create some really amazing structures. And it just looks more realistic in my opinion. If you imagine that versus what you get without having these um, decals on top, it doesn't look anywhere near as nice. And also, as I said, if you saw earlier, I've been using the um, network terraforming network to create these now which um, works really nicely I mean if you think about it look how easy this is now to do if you imagine how easy that would how difficult sorry that would be to do using um, terraforming for example we can make some really amazing shapes here now with this in the in the ocean going to be awesome with all those new UK village buildings that are coming out that's exactly it Frankenstein and the um, the build itself is going to be very rural so it's not going to be very deep it's not going to have a lot of um, buildings going on in terms of um, cities it's all going to be very very small individual little towns um, and it's going to be very different I guess to what I have done I did do a UK build many many moons ago but that was before all these fantastic assets reached the workshop so I'm really excited to see how we can um, how we can utilize those I've you know I've had my eye on them for quite some time now just never really had the opportunity to to work on it because obviously it doesn't suit Monaco uh, but yeah here we go so this is this gives you an idea on what is possible now if you are to use these network patterns etc they look so much more realistic in my opinion if you imagine if we was going to do this via the uh, landscaping tool it's going to be it's so hard to create this. It really is hard. You can to get something of this degree takes a lot of time, a lot of patience. Whereas what you can do now is just pretty much simply make this 
very quickly in you know no time at all really so let's have a look so look at the difference between these two so here we go if you were going to create it firstly it's very difficult to do you know that's just me trying to do something in the same sort of time it took me to put this down it takes so much more time to do and it, it's just difficult I mean there's the, you can you can still make some nice shapes this way um, but between the two I t personally prefer using this method now uh, it just adds to it but if we were to add this on top So it doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, if you compare the two together. Personally, in my opinion, depending on what sort of shapes you're going for, some of them you can get away and it looks really nice, but sometimes when you want to make something very linear, linear linearly, if that's the best word to describe it, um, personally, I would go with these ones, but you can make some really nice shapes in whichever way you do. So I think the, the main key here is how you adapt them after. So using the these shapes after really do help do that. But it's when you make these little tiny bits where it all comes to life and it's so much more fun to build this sort of stuff now. And I used to always shy away from doing this sort of thing, um, but it just makes life easier. Welcome back, I'm just about to plop some offices. Nice, pay well. Remind me, what's your series, well, what's your current build about? Where are you, where's it based? And you can tell us it's a UK build as well, can't you? Because, um, look at that. That is a, Typical UK view. Beautiful, beautiful clouds. But yeah, we so basically we have done this section here now. I'm very happy of how that all comes out and looks together. Restart the um, cinema, the um, game to get rid of these bits. But I think we're getting somewhere now with this. Some of the detailing I'm not going to do at this stage because this is purely just the map building. Um, so we've got the road layout down as well. So we're using Mac Welshman's new beautiful UK roads, which, um, well, are beautiful. <laughs> not much more you can say about that. And also, if you've checked out his recent releases on the workshop, you'll also see he's been doing some rural roads, which um, work perfectly hand in hand for this series because it's all about rural and look at the detail on this road this is a pure typical uk road not in the best condition you've got the nice plants and flowers around which work nicely removes the fact of them being the prop count a bit of da damage to the roads and also we have the typical potholes in the road which we all are very used to here in the uk and i'm sure elsewhere as well Tillo, the Isle of Wight, that is correct. So the map is built on the Isle of Wight. Um, but as I said, it's not gonna be a direct copy of that. It's just we've used that as our map. Not done yet, hello, welcome to the stream. Good to have you. How are you today? But yeah, I really do like these rocks now. Look at it, they do look really nice. And once the waves settle down after we've done that terraforming, I think this is really taking shape. I do love those textures, they look really good. And it just looks like what it should look like at the moment in my head, so I'm really pleased with that. I'm guessing the question now though, is do we put the decals all the way across here? 
because I do love the um, look of the standard theme as well done by Mr Miyagi but I don't want to don't want to take up and lose all of it so for example if we put that there making a new map theme is that what you're asking me or that's what you're doing not done yet because the map theme itself for this has been already created well it's it's kind of a it's a map theme theme it's a map no a theme mixer map theme so we've had the cliffs done by mr miyagi and i'm using mac welshman's uk theme as well which um aid his his roads perfectly Oh, you're making a theme. Go on, spill the beans. What's your theme about? What are the rocks called on the workshop? Which rocks do you mean, Paywell? Are you on about these bits I'm placing down here? The decals. Already so excited, the UK series is what I've waited for. Oh, is it really? Are you from the UK, Tillo? Or are you just in, you just interested in in that sort of a, a series because there's not really a UK series out there as far as I'm concerned, um, and it's one I did tackle many many moons ago, like I said, but I've not really had chance to um, to really utilise the amazing assets that are on the workshop now. So, um, Paywell, they these aren't available yet. Avania is going to release these when I um, basically give her the all clear in doing, in doing so. Um, so they will be on the workshop very soon. So will the map theme by Mr Miyagi. So I think they I think it's be going to be called like the White Cliffs of Dover. I think he's going to call the theme that, which obviously suit perfectly because the cliffs themselves are perfect for the um, map replication that I'm doing, but also they are perfect for. Um, Dover, the White Cliffs and Dover are pretty much spot on for this as well. They both work hand in hand, but obviously I'm going to be using it for my Isle of Wight build. So what we will be doing, we won't be doing much on this side of the island. This is South, no, this is Portsmouth here. We'll be doing a ferry crossing between the two because the road in comes here. So everyone who comes to this island will have to go on the ferry, which will be interesting. I may have to sneakily add some sort of a tunnel in um, just so it brings people in quicker but eventually the only way of getting on and off the island will be via the ferry or if I can get them to work the hovergrass. Um, there is a very small airport which I'm going to be building and when I say small I mean tiny it's not going to have much going on but if we can fit that in and that brings people in via the airport that's great it's not something that's actually realistically done in this location what I'm building um, but we'll, we'll see we'll see how it goes no I'm German I really like the UK though culture people landscape and so on feels a second home to me oh that's awesome so does this map give you a sense of the UK obviously the cloud up the top certainly must give you that <laughs> that feeling um, but yeah what I'm thinking of doing we're going to use Vanya's cliffs a bit further around um, but not all the way. I don't want to, like I say, take away from the um, amazing um, textures that Mr. Miyagi's done for us. And obviously if we do this all the way across, it's gonna get a bit over the top. So let's just do a bit more across here. And then we need to find like a point where we can just release it. So I'm guessing the point would probably be in this corner perhaps. There's only large ones. Here we go. These are the larger ones. So we put that there. And what I love about these decals is it laps over the top as well. So it gives you that sense of it's not just a dead end. Um, the cliffs themselves are sort of grappling over the edge, which work perfectly for this. I'm preparing for an airport, but I want to keep real life scale, 1.5 kilometer runway. That takes crazy amounts of time. Oh, I can imagine, to be fair, the 
the whole building airport is not something I've actually done myself, really. I've um, tampered with it a little bit offline, um, outside of my series, but I, yeah, I've, I've, I guess I probably don't really feel I've got the experience like some people to to build um, a realistic plane, sorry, a realistic airport. So I'll leave it to the experts. But yeah, look at that. That's that just looks beautiful. I love this. This this texture, everything just works. It gives you that sort of choppy, chalky, chisely effect. Um, and yeah, it just works great. Tillo, how hey, that's how hey, it's great. Roads and weather are spot on. <laughs> that is true. It's not difficult to um, imitate the UK, is it? We need to do is put a few clouds in the sky. Um, Add some potholes to your roads and you're pretty much laughing. Let's see how much more we can add here. So I'm thinking we'll go a bit further down and around here. And maybe just to this corner we'll go. looking much better now this bit I just love the sort of sharpness of it it just gives you that sort of that bit there I'm not too pleased with though the way that pokes up but it's still realistic I assume you know in that sense it's not it's not unrealistic in, in that way I'm not I might change the color of the water as well I don't think it really looks too much like the UK but I'm not too bothered by that at the moment. Yeah, that's, that looks good. Let's give it a save. So if you're lucky enough to be in this stream now, I haven't actually released anything really about this uh, new series. I know a lot of you sort of guessed from the um, the rumours and the few screenshots I did that it would be a, a UK build, um, but the name hasn't been released yet. But if you just saw that save file, I say no more. That will be eventually the name of the series. But yeah, you never saw that. It's a surprise. Right, so I want to try another little trick here that we was working on earlier. Going back to the terraforming networks, which we was using, and we can really make cliffs come out here with this. So let's put this in here to start with. What we're going to want to do here is grab the node and basically raise it up to the level of what we're working with. So here, and also we can do the same here. I well, what we could do, we can also do a two tier, couldn't we? Um, but in there, let's, let's just stick to what we was doing originally. So let's put this here. Let's go up to the level of the highest point here. So look, look, this is what we can do now. So using this, we can really adjust the land to exactly how we want it to be, um, which really does change the way you can make cliff faces and change it changes a lot in my opinion um, this bit will level off but what we can do actually I think we'll raise it up a little bit more but can you see how much easier this is than using the terraforming tools we can now just raise this and the actual sharpness of the cliffs are a lot more in our favor compared to the terraforming which is more slopey um, you, you, it's, it's a combination of the two I say so You've got this nice sort of, you know, weathered and worn in section with the, terra with the terraforming, but then you've got the solid straight edge that you can achieve here with using the, uh, the network terraforming method. So two methods, both have their advantages. Um, in this instance, we're gonna do both just to show it off. Um, and what you can do as well 
same way you do with your roads is if you want to have a little bit more of a change you basically pull a road off of it and then delete it and then you've got yourself your node the same again we're pulling off we're then deleting that road or that section and now we see we've got another node here and what we can do now with this node is we can bend this other section around and then get some really nice sort of little cuts in the um, in the mountain or the cliffs in this case can move it around and you know get some really unusual looking shapes or get things just to look normal but things like that like you can just get some very unique looks um, in the in the design and then we can level this off obviously using the nose as well to get those as close as you possibly can But a lot of these cliffs are like this, where it is a big sort of drop down. So it really does help. The terraforming network is super useful with all kinds of the training rules. Yeah, it is. It's a great thing to be able to add to uh, the artillery of city skylines, which you know is ever evolving. It really does help, and we can bend this round here as well. Drop this down and look at that, we've got a really nice now sort of cliff face on this side. And then what we can do here, we can basically go into terraforming because like I say, we still want to use it. It's not, it's not obsolete because of this method. In fact, they both work hand in hand, in my opinion. So we can now just get this to a level state Swear, oh, you doing Dover? Not Dover, swear, close to it, but um, as we've got a few more watchers now, um, I'm actually building the Isle of Wight. So it'll be a UK build. As I said earlier, it's not going to be it's not going to be one for one in the sense of Monaco, but it will certainly be um, a big influence in the build because we're building on the actual island. So that's what it's going to be, but. You're right, the, the white cliffs do look very much like the Dover cliffs. And in fact, the theme that I'm using, as I mentioned earlier in the stream, is by uh, Mr. Miyagi, and he's gonna be releasing it. And I think he's actually gonna call it the um, White Cliffs of Dover, or something along those lines. So um, that will, uh, I assume, be on the workshop at some point. I'm not sure when he's gonna do so. Um, But now let's get rid of this bit here. By the way, you, you're in the terraform on top of the roads as long as the road is on the ground, not the air. The terraform doesn't show, however, until you delete the road. That's definitely cool. Looking forward to watching the series. Cheers, swear. Trying to work out what you mean, Soren. sure I follow what you're trying to say but yeah look at that that little ridge there that looks so good by the way you can oh you can terraform on top of roads as long as the road is on the ground and not in the air the terraforming doesn't show and however until you delete the road oh yeah yeah that's right But what I might do, I might just do the whole section here with this technique. The thing as well, when we use this technique which gouges out these sort of like cliffy rock faces, um, you can also remove, you don't have to use these textures as much because it kind of creates its own texture. Sort of love and switch. Oh, hey, nice to see you back, mate. It's one of those things, isn't it? Because I, I, I stream. I used to stream on Twitch, but I upload my videos to YouTube. It kind of makes sense to um, stream on both platforms. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I need to remember who's who's who and what what name and profile now. But yeah, let's do this again. So let's let's just show for the new people here. 
a new technique to make sort of cliff faces. So I'm going to record this as well because I'm going to do a little video about this because I think it's a really useful thing to have. Um, so let's start again. So terraforming network. So what we're going to do first, we're going to start our new patch from here. So we're just literally just going to do a long patch here to about. So let's go to about here. Okay. So that's effectively our our new patch to work from. So we're going to grab this first node. We're going to drag it across. And we're going to find the level of the rest of this part now, which is somewhat here. And already, look at this, we're getting a little gouge here as well, which looks really nice with the um, with the textures of the, uh, the theme. But that's not it. We're not finished yet. We've got a lot more to do. So let's jump on to here. We're going to lower this down as well. As you can see now, this all lines up nicely. But the issue we have is we've only got one more node to work from up here, which um, is going to cause us some problems. So let's drop this down first as best we can. As you can see, like it's a bit messy here, isn't it? It's a little bit messy. Um, but that's not going to matter because what we need to do now is we get the terraforming network tool again. We're just going to put away some more rows. I'm going to do a few more this time. So I'm going to create a new couple of nodes. So we're going to delete these once they're done. Like that, like that. And did we get one in here? Did we miss it? We missed it. Let's go like that. So now, if we go to move it, we have a lot more nodes to work with. So first of all, we can shape these as much as we can as we want to. We can also move this around to make some really unusual shapes. Hey Trey, nice to see you. Thank you for joining. But yeah, as you can see, as we move these around, we are getting some very unique cuts into the cliff face, which is what we want to get to really create that unique look of the cliffs. Because cliffs aren't straight, you know. They do, they are, you know, a bit patchy in places. Um, it's the White Cliffs of Dover, nearly Cape Air, nearly. It's actually the Isle of Wight. Um, but yes, the um, the look of them are very similar. And as you see, if, if we move it to certain points, we can get these little gouges in, and that's what I'm looking for. I wanna get this unique look across the cliff face. Um, and if we do the same here, let's bring this down a little bit more. Although saying that, we probably want another node here. Let's bring this one up a little bit. So it's all about just moving things around, seeing what looks good, what works, what doesn't. Um, and just playing with it really until you get the look you're looking for. So we can really, really make this look a bit. I know I was being sarcastic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sorry, when I'm in gaming mode, I'm not um, not on the, uh, the sarcastic my, well, my sarcastic alarm system's turned off. Okay, so that's that. So that's not looking too bad already. Um, that might be a bit too high, I'm not sure. Like, it's nice to have some of these height changes. But this technique really does work well, in my opinion. We've already changed the whole look of that face, of that cliff just by using this new technique. And then we could add the texture details around, decals around. Um, for example, we could just put it into this groove here or certain sections of it just to add some change. But it's one of those things where if you start doing too much, you're gonna end up having to do the whole thing. I don't really wanna do the whole thing. Um, as much as they look amazing, I'm not sure what it will look like if it's all done like that. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just we'll sample it. We'll see what it see what happens if we do just put the textures all the way across. We've got plenty of them. I think there's, what is there, seven, seven of them done by Avania. All different heights. So we're gonna be wanting to do these bigger ones. We just got to place them well enough that they don't sort of get too stretched. We want to make it look appealing as well. So these ones, what we've been using here, are these or is it these ones? I'm 
like that, I guess, isn't it? We don't even have to do it across the whole thing. We can just add bits in to really complement the, the theme that we are working with. Um, so if we put another one like that, it also enhances these little um, gro um, little corners we've created. It look like that way around. Put that one there. And then maybe another one here as well, just to add. Hi, Adrian. You see, some of these bits, you can just see that they won't work too well. Like there, because of that groove, this texture isn't going to really look very realistic, in my opinion. So we can leave it. And because we've already got the great theme behind it, we can uh, get away with that. And the same here, it's going to it's a bit, bit flaky across that corner. So instead, we will leave it and we'll just carry on from maybe here, this section. And each time you flip it around, you get a different sort of texture, which really looks good. So there we go. They That looks, in my opinion, a lot better in terms of a cliff, anyway. Much more realistic. Pretty happy with that, to be fair. Can we add any decals to this as well? Um, we've got the stained textures, which might do something to the to the rocks. I'm not sure if it will hit it up here. I don't think it's going to really do much, is it? Um, no. Not going to do it. No, no, it's not going to do enough anyway. Let's put it that way. Let's do the same this side then as well. Let's do a bit more of this technique. Terraforming network. And then we can try and get this, this curvy bend in as well. Well, I might do a bit here because it looks a little bit samey with all of these blocks. Let's delete that. Let's jump onto this and go across. Evo, hello, wow, new map. Yes, this is gonna be eventually the new series that I'll be working on. Um, UK build. So for all you UK fans, I'm hopefully gonna be able to give you a series that you deserve. All right, let's go to about there, it's not too bad. So let's do that technique again then. So let's use the terraforming tool. We're gonna to go one, two, three, and then we're gonna delete, delete. And to be fair, look, things like that actually don't look too bad, does it? We've created that and it actually looks all right, but I'm gonna delete it because it doesn't quite suit what I'm looking for here, but that's the sort of level of, you know, new ideas and shapes you can get with this. So we've got these bits now, so we can start moving and adjusting these around. Moving them, changing them, we can get some more little dinks into each one. Each time we move it, we get the new little face. It really is fun to play with. So look at that. Just by doing that, we probably don't even have, you probably don't even have to put any um, textures over that because it does look nice as it is. You've got that sort of broken down rock and weathered feel. It just really does look good. We've done the same over here as well to create this section, which um, again, in my opinion, looks really good. Um, I think it's coming along quite nicely here. I think I like this groove bit here. I like the way that bit goes in to the island. So instead, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to 
network terraform this section here. We're going to do two ramps here. Will you be adding the Olive White Railway into this build? Yes, KPN, I will do. I'll be trying to do. I'm going to try and, you know, I'm not going to copy it in the sense of each building has got to be the same, but I do want to copy the, the layout of it because it's um, a place very close to my heart. Um, so I'll be, you know, trying to replicate it as I have seen it and uh, we'll definitely be doing the, the train line as well because it's not, not a huge train line, is it, from what I recall? Delete that. Delete that. We happy with that height? I think we're happy with that height. So we will then move this. And you see, like things like that, we can have a little groove in here. I don't think it's going to work for this particular section, but this gives you an idea on what is possible by doing this technique. And each time we move this, we get something a little bit different to come up. So the possibilities of repetition are, you know, gonna be f never really there. You're never gonna get this, the same look. And for some reason, it started raining. I don't even know I had weather on. Let's turn that off. I know it's the UK, obviously, you know, it's realistic, so it's gonna rain, isn't it? Yeah, the railway is like a quarter of its original size. I'm keen for this build. Oh, excellent. So now we've moved this around, we can, well, we're gonna to have to move the um, the sand down a little bit as well. We have, we've added this sand in here because the theme I'm using needs to have this section filled up a little bit. We can leave that in there actually, that's not too bad looking. But yes, we should hopefully get a much nicer um, railway in this one, KP, and obviously, in Monaco, the only railway there is is underground. Um, you can't really do much with that. It's not going to be as enjoyable to watch. But this one, we can actually have some proper trains. Have a little, you have a proper train station, and just generally, you know, if you're a fan of trains, it's going to be a lot more appealing <laughs> for you to to watch and enjoy. Okay, so that's not too bad. That bit there, hmm. it's interesting. I'm not sure if I, if I like it or not, but just look at that. How much different does that look just from using this new technique? Not sure what if this is perfect for here, but too bad I suppose. Does it look better without it there? Even the pier as well, there's lots of piers, K Pen, lots of piers. We've got the um if you're in, if you're a fan of transportation, we've got the ferry piers, sorry the ferry um, stations, we've got the hovercraft over in Ride. There's quite a lot more to um, look forward to if you're, you know, a lot of people know the UK better than they, if they, than they know Monaco. Um, I certainly do. Um, so for me, it should be much easier to build now. I can uh, use my my own head to, to build rather than Google Maps. So that's not looking too bad now. First sort of main detailed section coming on quite nicely here. And basically on this top part is a lot of like rotor pathways, etc. So people come and walk along here. Um, you can't get down to this beach. This is purely just a beach that's kind of appeared from the, uh, the tides. Not really a beach you can go down and uh, enjoy the British weather one, um, but yeah, we'll do the same here, I think, using this technique. Let's do this again, let's go network. Let's 
terraforming network. Go one, two, three. We'll just stop here because I don't mind this bit. This bit looks quite nice. And then we'll raise this up to the same height, which is about there. Do you ever need to worry about the traffic in a UK build? Um, depends on how you mean. I mean, for this series, probably not because it's a lot more of a rural build than it is a, um, a city build. So you probably don't have to worry as much. Uh, but I think it's the, you know it's, it's all about it's all about the game, isn't it? The games, the game, the way the game plays is if you have to worry about the traffic or not. It's not really dependent on the island that you're building or the type of build you're doing. Right, so we can do this, let's move this across as well. I mean, comparing to real life, especially if it's London. Um, if it's like London, then yeah, you need to you need to worry a bit, don't you? Um, but this this build should be fine. So what I need to do is match this up to here, don't I? Can we can we move this across? To be fair, if I was building London, I think I'll probably have to spend most of the time trying to get London traffic to work, won't I? <laughs> it'd be it'd be a, a series in itself trying to get um, get that to work. I guess that is going to work. So let's carry on as we are. Let's. Get this. So where did it actually stop? It was here. So we need to go to about there, don't we? Where did this stop? So it's about there. Okay. So once you got this in line, we can then start playing around with the uh, the different nodes. On the traffic and all the rail lines crossing over and under each other, that's it. That'd be a building itself, that would, wouldn't it? And then what we can do here is bring this to here and then drop it right its way down. And also the good thing about using this technique is you can really control what you're building and what you're doing here. Um, using this you can really change things. Taser, hello, good afternoon. So this definitely is working I'm a lot better. And what we can do now, so if we go back to this, go back into the network um, terraforming tool and then we can add a few more nodes in here to create those little divots that we were doing earlier. So let's bring a few out here, let's do a few at a time. So then we can delete these, we've already got the nodes there now. And let's have a look. So this one we can bring inwards and look at that, already we're getting these beautiful little arcs and coves in here. Let's do the same. So if we go this way, we get more of a bend. If we go inwards is when we get these beautiful little shapes like that, look at that. It just really adds to it, it just looks more lifelike I guess um, sometimes you need it does go over the top and you do you know lose the realism but at certain points you can bring this to where it really does work well let's try it like that for now greetings from Mexico hey Chico MX how are you nice of you to pop by 
Right, so I'm liking that look. Let's add a few more in here now. Let's go out here. Let's do another one there. Another node there. Okay. Delete that, delete that, and delete this. So let's grab another one of these and move it inwards. Let's do that one as well. Let's go in a little bit more. Let's see how much we can get out of this little corner. So sometimes like that, it's a little bit too much. So you just need to get a balance. And there we go, that's a nice balance. And we can put a put the decals over this to cover in cover out some of these little um, anomalies, and also raising it up and down. You can make it look a lot more realistic because, in my opinion, at the moment that's all a bit too similar level. Cliffs aren't like that. Um, a lot of things at different heights when you look at a, a cliff top. Go something like that. Let's make it go back up a bit after. Let's move that across. And this one we're going to bring out. We're going to change it up a little bit. And the same with this. Let's just bring it over a little bit. So it does take a bit of time, but it's a lot better as opposed to. There you go. So it's normally in these grooves of these nodes where you get these nice indents. And I think what we need here is another one across here. Like that. And I think we need to bring this one down. Like so. Maybe not so much. Maybe about there. Yeah, it looks better. Do the same here, so we'll get another node in here. A node there, node there. Let's try and get a couple in close to each other and see what we can do with that. Okay, so let's delete these ones. Finally, Tajit came a bit late. It's okay, we haven't actually been streaming that long. I did do an earlier stream, but um, we've come in good time. We've only been going for a half an hour, an hour or so. Let's do that. Pull that in. And look at that, it's trade away. This, this looks so much more realistic. And I think it's not something that people have really encountered, well, really tackled in uh, City Skylines is cliff faces. We obviously had some beautiful themes and textures, but sometimes just doing this is what makes a difference. Especially the build that I'm doing, there's a lot of like cliffs that have you know, fallen down or moved around. And I want to try saying cows as well in a second. I'm not sure if it's going to work, so I've not tried it yet. Let's move that one in. That's a bit too much. Let's move this and then this here can just slowly go down to the sea level. Okay. So we've got that, that looks all good in my opinion. I don't think we need to use the decals here. I think this works as it is perfectly well. There might be a few I can add into here with the decals. Let's just have a quick check. Let's go to cliffs. Let's see if we were to add one in here, probably one of the smaller ones. You're gonna cover that section. It's a little bit screw if, isn't it? You design maps in game. How do you make them into maps you can upload to Workshop? Hey Tech, um, you are ideally you're meant to really create it in the map editor, but I don't. I'm not a map creator. So what I what I did do is in the map editor. I created the outskirts. I created the majority of this. Um, but my idea was, is I wanted to create a saved game for people to then play on. So what I'm gonna do, once I've got this detailed, I'm going to save it as a saved game on Steam. So you'll be able to, be able to um, basically save this saved game as your own and then load it up in game. Um, the advantage of that is you'll have everything as it is now. So all the roads are down, 
um, which I've been able to use the um, Mac Welshman Roads playing in game. Um, so you get yeah, obviously the idea that you're meant to design the maps in game and upload them as a map. This won't be uploaded as a map; it'll be uploaded as a saved game. But this, you know, it's still the same thing. It's not a, it's not like anything's different. Um, it just means that when you upload the game, you'll get what you see. Uh, you know what I have on the screen in front of me right now. Um, so this is me in game as it is now. I could start building, as you can tell from the toolbar at the bottom. But you can obviously do it how the proper map creators do in game as well. But for me, this is just easier, and like I say, it's got an advantage to it. That's it. Yeah, you can add a lot more in the editor and things like this. I can do freehand as well um, you are restricted in the map editor but it's um, in my opinion it's just easier this way taser the island looks really nice thanks taser appreciate that everyone guys if I'm sure you already know who this guy is but taser here is a absolutely amazing um, city skylines creator I'm sure you've already seen all his work but if you haven't click on his name and check out his videos um, preferably when I finish streaming, but um, I'll, I'll allow you if, if not. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he is a great, great, great um, creator, and one that I used to watch many times before I even I started playing the game. So he has some great techniques and a very good mindset to play this game. Tech Step Man, I'm working on making a Greek island. Okay, awesome. That sounds good. So do we fill these bits in with this? It looks a bit, does it look a bit messy like that? It almost gives that look that this is sort of broken and busting out, which doesn't actually look too bad. I'm not sure. We could cover the whole lot in this, but I'm scared that it's going to be too over the top if we start doing all of it. We can do little sections, I guess. I do like the fact of covering in these bigger gaps with this because it does make it pop. Like that. And even this section here we might, hmm, maybe not. But I think we're gonna have to do some around here. Is this inspired by any specific area in the UK? This actually is. So the map is actually a small island um, off the south coast of the UK called the Isle of Wight. Um, so despite, you know, I am using the map itself the same. The map you see is, a, you know, my interpretation of it. Um, but it's not going to be a Monaco build. It's not going to be saying that I'm, you know, gonna have to build like for like this is just more of an open build for me um, but the map it, the island itself is like for like up here is um, Portsmouth so this is the UK up top um, this here is what is classed as the Isle of Wight no worries Checo yes it's um it's a really cool idea and it will work really well for a Greek island as well for having those beautiful cliff faces that you see so much in the, the Greek islands okay so that's that bit done what we can now do is terraform this bit over um, and I'll tell you what Taze it's nice to be building well I'm not building yet but it's nice to be playing the game with good frame rate <laughs> and I'm sure you know what I mean by that based on how we end up in our builds I'm currently getting a whole 25 or so, is it 25 frames? Which is um, unheard of really, isn't it, when we when we play? The scale is one to one, yeah. As best as I could anyway. Dover, nearly Weisenberg, nearly. It's um, the Isle of Wight, but the same, the same look and feel. The same look and feel. 
Just make sure you don't hit the prop limit. <laughs> I should be alright to be fair. I'm more worried about hitting the prop limit in Monaco than I am for this new series. So let's see if we can smooth this across a little bit. It's a good shout with Weisenberg. Very good shout. I'm enjoying that as well whilst working on White Cone Project. Yeah, I bet you are. I bet you are. It's a nice feeling, isn't it? Let's try and blend these in a bit better. I'm streaming on multiple platforms. Yes, I am Risenberg, yeah. I'm on um, I'm on YouTube and I'm on Twitch, which is um, why, if you're wondering why I'm randomly answering people, it's um, from the other side. I'm good, Risenberg. I am good. Thank you for thank you for asking. How are things with you? I see you're back streaming some City Skylines. I think I saw it pop up the other day. What are you working on at the moment? I assume another European masterpiece. I use a simulation speed slider at 60%. It runs about real life speed and frame rates go up significantly. Okay, that's cool. That's interesting. Never noticed the, um, the frames change. Okay, so that's this section now. Let's blend this in a bit more. Try and level this up. I'm enjoying this while working on my project. I don't even I don't know why I want to detail a whole valley. <laughs> it'll be worth it, it'll be worth it in the end, so keep on detailing, keep on detailing. I also play with real time and other population mods. Okay, cool. Weisenberg, yes, working on a coastal city. It's a mixture of Italian urban planning and coastal design and German architecture. Wow, that sounds Pretty breathtaking, I must say. How are we looking here then? Not too bad, are we? Not too bad at all. Definitely gives me that sort of cliff appeal now, rather than what it looked like. I mean, this part here is vanilla in terms of this is purely using um, the thing jig, whatever it's called. The landscaping tool. So this is this is purely using landscaping landscaping tool. So it doesn't look bad, and I'm going to leave some like it because it does still add to it. But this is using a new technique. It just looks a lot sharper, um, a lot more controlled, I guess, and you're just able to play with it a lot better. I'll have to say those cliffs look amazing. Cheers, Weisenberg. We've also done these as well, which I think look really nice using this new technique as well. But I just love the sharpness that it gives off. I'm not sure, I'm not gonna do it all over because there are some more smooth areas of this build, such as these sort of bits here. Maybe we'll keep these as they are, I'm not too sure yet. Um, that's how you bump someone's viewership across platforms. Oh, hello, here we go. Power over Ethernet Risenberg, is that what it stands for? <laughs> I'm not sure how many people, we've got like five people on Twitch and most people on YouTube, which kind of makes sense really because that's where people know me from. Um, but I know there are people on um, Twitch that do pop in and say hello as well. So it's nice to have both variants available. Um, but yeah, whilst I've got quite a few more of you here now, if you haven't already checked out in the workshop, Mac Welshman has been at it again. Uh, he's created these rural roads which um, are outstanding they really are look at the texture and the details of these this is a pure UK build so a UK road look at this you've got patches because no one can be bothered to make a new road in the UK so you just cover them up we've got one there a pothole there which um, you'll have to avoid otherwise you'll have a blowout on your tire I know it's probably the same in other European countries um, but this is very typical of the UK 
but yeah, what Mac has done is um, I sort of suggested to him the idea of having these rural rows of having um, plants and trees around it already, so you don't have to lay them down yourself. He's also added a gate set, a gate version as well. Um, and Mr. Mazon he helped us with these. He's created some beautiful bushes. And we've got the walls as well here. So technically what we can do is we can literally just use these roads um, and just place them around as we want. We don't have to worry about detailing after. And that was the sort of plan that I said to Mac about is um, one, it's gonna remove the factor of removing the props side of things. You're not gonna have to do that. Um, and also it just makes a build a lot quicker. You know, we can literally go into the roads here go into the rural roads and just place them as you know as quickly as we possibly can. We don't have to worry about anything. Um, let's get let's go for this one. And we can just we can just have a play. Look, you know, this is already done for us now. We don't have to worry about anything else. It's all there. It's all done. And all we have to do now is just worry about detailing around it. The actual road itself is is there and it's ready to go. I wouldn't know we rank second in the road infrastructure quality in Europe. <laughs> I think we're probably uh, second from bottom in the UK for our how well our roads are looked after. Those wall, stone walls aren't close enough to lane. That, <laughs> in terms of a rally, that is true. It is true. They should be literally against it, shouldn't they? But um, in terms of the look of these, they, they work very nicely. But yeah, that's the plan. Um, as I said, I'm not too sure. The theme I think I'm happy with now. Um, obviously, some of these bits need to be changed. That's not a beach. Um, I need to work on that sort of things. But I'm just kind of working from this end and moving inwards at the moment. Um, but the textures look good. The, the, um, the LUT, I'm not too sure what one to keep with. At the moment, I'm just going with um, the Relight North but it all depends on what makes the uh, cliffs pop, I guess. Average also looks quite nice. And one thing that's interesting as well, is as soon as you start changing the light, look at that, the, the, the cliffs just come alive even more. So you've got to find that right spot to really make them pop out nicely. So the LUTs will still be, the LUT will be the last thing that I sort out. So we're not too bothered about that. But don't they have reverse traffic? Are you talking about the UK, Powell? What I do need to do actually is um, get rid of the sand on here. Stonewall network would be great unless there is one really like it. I'm sure there probably already is, isn't there? It's not something I've used personally. All right, let's get rid of the um, sand here. We're not gonna have any sand across this section. smooth that over so annoyingly the water levels do keep changing as I build into it which makes sense so let's just go back to the tides actually first of all let's check the water so as you see like that's where it should be um, and it's to do with the tide mod you just need to reset it to the um, Use current sea level as a reference point. No, we want to reset to the reference point. I think that's what we have to click. I think it means cars driving the left hand side instead of the right as default. Yes, that is correct. So if you want to use these UK roads, realistically, they need to be on the left hand side, but it doesn't matter. You can do what you want, really. Um, let's tidy this up because it looks a little bit bumpy. Although I do like that look, that look doesn't look too bad. Um, but I do want to just tidy it up a little bit and drop the strength down a little bit here. Let's see what we can do. But what I'm looking forward to doing as well is a lot of the beaches here in the aisle um, have little walkways going down to them from the cliffs. So if you can imagine a lot of this to get to the beach, I mean, one of the main beaches is here. So what I'm looking forward to doing is putting little roads, little pathways down into the beach. I think that'd be really cool. And that's gonna be a really fun thing to do. And I'm not sure whether it's gonna be easier 
to um, use the new technique to do the cliffs all the way across or do it as it is already. But then you can't, can always change that in the editor. That is true. But I think this is a really good example of how we want the, um, the map to look in terms of the quality of the cliffs. Oh, as I say, I will be doing a little um, tutorial video on how I've achieved these cliff faces because I think that'll be useful to um, throw out to everyone else to, to give it a go and have a try. But yes, the road layout is done. The only thing I need to do with the road layout is there's a lot of farmlands around here. So this is going to be a very rural based build. Um, so I'll be using the rural uh, road networks to um, move things across. I notice your roads don't have the dirt on the outside of them. Is that part of the UK roadmap feed? That is LTG, yes. So the reason for that um, is to make it look a lot cleaner. So the way the theme's been created is basically, if we jump into the theme editor to show you, both the grass and the ruin textures are the same. So if we were to change away from this, you get the outside look, which in my opinion for this particular build looks disgusting and <laughs> unrealistic especially the way that Mac has built these these rural roads you're you've already got the grass verge around it so what he's basically done LTG is changed the source of the theme for the ruins and for the grass to be the same so that then makes this all come together nicely um, I think personally it looks a lot cleaner it also removes this the patchiness across here on the main road which um, for a UK build, again, in my opinion, looks more realistic. Normally you have this sort of look, and to me that doesn't really appeal. So I really like the idea of what Mac done with that. He decided to have them the same color. Consequently, there is an issue with that, um, whereby, for example, if we go over here, I've actually managed to get around it, but here, actually let's try and find a bit that's not been edited yet. Um, so here, for example, because we're doing that, this is this this is ruined. This is the ruined part that Mac's done. So if we went into the theme editor and we changed that, it would actually look better like this because that covers in that gap. But because then that will ruin the roads, the a way around it for me is to basically add some of the sand textures by um, Ronix and just basically fill in that gap which to me, it doesn't matter. I can just go around and fill this in to clean it up. So there's a downside to it, but in my opinion, it's well worth it because it just makes that rural road really pop. It looks really nice. Um, so I'm really pleased with how that's come about and uh, hopefully that answers your question. Let me find another song to put on. Put a bit of jazz on, shall we? But yeah, guys, if you're in the stream, if you're watching on Twitch, remember to give the channel a follow. Be lovely to have you along next time I stream as well. And uh, if you're not already watching the series, by all means, jump onto my YouTube channel and check out my other series that I'm working on. Okay, looks much better than vanilla. It does, doesn't it, LTG? It really does. And um, if you're going to use Theme Mixer, do the same and just... Yeah, find find that um, decal. Sorry, not decal. That theme on the workshop, and uh, even if you like everything else, just change those two to be the same, or find something that's similar. You can find some that has the grass a slightly different shade, so it does have a little bit of you know change between the two. Just joining. Looks amazing. Thanks, Mr. Potato. Good to have you along. I haven't seen you on for a while, actually. How are you? I just want to try and clean these bits up as well. I'm not sure if that's going to be easy to do. Uh, let's try and level it out. There we go. But yeah, look at that. I love that sort of jaggedness it gives with these um, with these rocks. I want to try something here as well. So this section here, I was really trying to battle against the, 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 the alternate terrain and I want to try and make some different levels here I'm not sure if I can do it with this new technique we'll um, 
We'll give it a go. Let's give it a save first. Because the map's short. It's really, it's really coming along now. I'm really pleased with how it's looking. Let myself a drink. Right, okay, let's give this a try. As I say, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but you see what I'm trying to do here? I'm trying to get some sort of jagginess in this section with the terraforming mo um, tool. Um, we could just simply add the cliffs on top here to sort of create this look, but I wanna try something out. I wanna try with these network, ne the terraforming network and see what we can do. Good man, just joining for a bit because I needed to study for midterm. Wish me luck. All the best. Hope it goes well. And uh, yeah, what a perfect way to break up your studying and you know jumping into a city skyline stream. It's uh, certainly something I would do myself. All right, let's see what we can do here. Just going to try something out. Going to do a few reference points here. Like so. Raise it up to the same sort of level. A bit too high, maybe. We've got another node here that we can play with as well. Let's try and bring this up. And then maybe move that across here. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm just seeing what, sort of we, what we can kind of get out of this. Got another one here. And put up as well. I think what we'll do here, let's get another node in. Find a second node in the middle there. Oh, I actually like that. That's quite nice. Let's keep that there. And we can make some different shapes here as well. Look at that. Got some different bits coming into the sea here. So much more easier to control than it is with the um, terraforming tool. Well, I personally, for me, I prefer it anyway. I've never been a huge fan of the network, sorry, of the um, terraforming tool. It's always been difficult to to get what you want it to do, I guess. I like that, but I think this needs to be a bit lower down. Let's bring this down a little bit. You can see that we're getting these nice little ridges again here. And we could kind of make a double tier look here. That second one may be a little bit too far. Really struggling with map creation. Hey Alex, what are you struggling with? I think we might remove this bit. I'm not sure it's doing what I want it to do. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we've got this bit. Let's lower this down a little bit as well. Let's give it a bit more of a edge. Oh. A little bit crazy there. Okay. And that really is looking good. And I think 
it was a bit over top to have this section here. So I think we're going to try and just remove this bit. So let's try and level this off here. And it also hides up the white cliff face that we're not using. The map's not coming together how my mind sees it. I think I need to sit down and learn the pure basics first. Well, firstly, what sort of map was you trying to build, Alex? What was the design? What was the location that you was trying to replicate? So that doesn't look too bad like that, does it? We can have a little bit of a cliff here as well. What's happened here? What are we doing wrong on this section? I think this has probably got a node in that we haven't played with yet, isn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, so what can we do with this? Is there anything that we want to do? Also, water is so tricky. The water is very tricky, I must, must admit. Okay, let's get rid of that. I was going for, a pl for Plymouth Sound. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? What node is messing this up? Got those two there, got one there. Is it this one? Or is it this? Maybe it's this one. Yes, yeah, this one, isn't it? So let's. Is it this one? Da, da, da. I guess it probably is. I'm not sure what's going to happen if I delete this. Let's have a go. Okay. So I want to get rid of these white bits here. Such an interesting landscape. Thanks, Alex. So I like that bit going in the water there as well. That does look nice. And we can also, I assume, is there still a node down here that we use for that? That one there. So we can move this around to bring it out or in. And if, for example, we wanted to just add a random sort of block in the water, can we do that as well? So if we was just to go like that, not sure if it's gonna, um, cause an issue with the rest of the the um, parts we've already built but if we were for example just to do this and drag it under you can still add bits in it does push things around but in a good way in my opinion so we could actually drop this right down to sea level and you can also get some nice shapes with this What we can do, what's better, is we can then do little blocks like this and move it around till we get a nice shape that we like. And then we can just add a few of these little blocks around as well. So if we do that and then we'll lower it down so it just pokes out the water, or as much as we want it to anyway. And then we can just add a few of these randomly, sort of scattered around. What happened there? Because these sort of locations, they do have little cliffy bits around it as well. It's not going to always be, you know, as it is with nothing else around it. So we'll just add a few of these little ones just poking around. We'll lower those ones down as well. 
And the same over here. A few little random ones around. What is the new series then, Dover by any chance? Not quite, almost Alex. It's um, actually based on the Isle of Wight. So not too far away from what you were saying. Now, I wanna try and put a bit here. That looks much better. Look at that, much, much better. And if we let, drop it down a tiny bit, there we go. And then with this section here, we shall also drop this down, turn it around so it suits a bit better. Something like that. Awesome, great idea, look forward to it. Thank you, Alex. And I hope your, um, your map playing around helps well hopefully you can work on your map and uh, get some inspiration to really get you to nail that down let's drop this down let's drop this one down like so we can also just drop one side down to if we can see the node So if we drop one node, obviously one side down compared to the other, we also then get a, a higher level on one side than the other. So something like that probably look good. We'll do the same here, we'll lower this down. Because these are little, just little rocks. We're not gonna have too much going on here. And then we'll jump into the cliff faces. Check out images of Portsmouth sounds sometime. Check out images of Plymouth sound sometime and see the amount of task it is. I'll have a quick check, yeah. Sorry, I thought, I thought you said Portsmouth for a second there. I was like, well, this is kind of Portsmouth, but um, no, Plymouth. It's not a place I've actually um, looked at, to be honest, for a build. I'm looking quite forward to showing Nivania how good her rocks look as well. Boy, do they really make this area pop out. I've got a question because I'm not watching the stream since the beginning. Could you show me the whole map from above? Of course I can, Blaze. Give me a second. Let me just plop this one down. I think that's already got a deck decal on it, isn't it? I can probably just put that there. Okay, Blaze, so as you missed earlier, this is going to be the new series map, which we're working on. So it's actually based on a real place. It's um, based on the Isle of Wight, which is just south of the UK, between the UK and France, little island. Um, and it's gonna be a, pretty much a, a very rural island. Um, not gonna be a one for one copy as Monaco is. It's gonna be a big influence, well, I'm gonna take a lot of influence from the Isle of Wight, um, but it's gonna be a bit more um, open to my imagination. So we've already got the road wet work, let work down. This map, I will, like I said earlier to the other guys, is um, I will make this public on Steam once it's complete. So when the first episode comes out, you can also have the map and you can build on it as well. So we can work on it together um, and obviously show me what you've done on the map and we can uh, you know, see if we can use each other's ideas, which will be really fun. So that's pretty much where we're at. So as I say, the stage of the project now is purely just detailing. We want to detail as much as we can now um, off the map. And then once that's done, we'll then kickstart the actual series. Thank you very much. Okay, so these sort of cliffs here we can hide.
do that. Copy that down there to hide away that ugliness. See, some of this stuff is a little bit over the top for what we should be worrying about, but you know, I want to make this map as good as I possibly can. It's not often I get a chance to create a map. But I think that looks really good. I might change the lighthouse for something a little bit better. There we go, that pretty much looks like the UK, doesn't it? And having said that, we are actually only at 200% dynamic resolution. If we go for 300, looks much better. Mr. Potato out, these get back to my study for tomorrow morning. See you later. Cheers, Mr. Potato, and uh, good luck with the study, and I hope it goes well for you. Okay, so it's coming along. Although that has kind of decided to lag my game a little bit. Let's drop this back down to 200. That's better, back up to over 25 frames per second, which is uh, not very often for the way I play the game. So these tides I need to work on, I need to work out how it's gonna come together. I need to probably move this down a little bit to be fair. Uh, if we do that, I'm hoping it will just drop back down to the actual level of the water. Although saying that, the water has decided to move up a little bit. So long as that beach is in it, that's got a fair amount of space. Let's drop that. So guys, let me know in the chat what you're currently building. What city or location or culture are you currently building on your City Skylines game? I actually really like this bit, this bit looks really good now. Let's give it another save. <clears throat> So I think firstly this beach here is probably a little bit too much, but bits like this I'm not going to worry about until we actually kick off the series. Um, I just want to make a generic map that will be suitable for everyone to really enjoy. And I think the thing with the maps is if the map looks good, naturally the build look good. Um, let's see if we can do something with this. This bit looks a little bit too too flat. In a minute, I'm going to post a screenshot on your Discord server. Okay, Blaze. Was working on Lanzarote-ish style place, but lost my save. That's when I moved on to the Plymouth Southwest style area. Okay, cool, man. Obviously, um, annoying you lost your save. I know that's um, annoying when that happens. Hello, White Star. Welcome to the stream. Let's have a quick, let's have a look what we can do here. So if we was to put this here. Spin this around. Can we, so if we found the same height. Move this in to about there. So what we're doing is pretty much just using the terrain, the ter terraform we've already done and just bringing it out a little bit. Put it to about there. I feel like 
this side should be a tiny bit lower. So let's knock this down a little bit. It happens both love and hate starting new maps. That is true, Alex, that is very true. I'm really enjoying being able to do what I'm doing now. Very different way of playing this game. It's not a way that I've done so very often. Just created the high map of Southern New Zealand, Denmark, where I live. First time creating the maps are gonna be interesting. Alex and Soren. That'd be really cool. It's one of those things, isn't it? It's good to try new things on City Skylines and uh, map creating is not one thing that I've done before. Let's see what we can do here. So if we move these around a little bit, we get a few little divots, which is nice. Sometimes a bit too many for my liking, but maybe that, maybe that. I think that looks nice. See, just adding these little like divots in here, just make things look a little bit different. And even on these bits here, we could even double that up. So what we'll do, let's actually we'll leave that because we've already done this section. And if we then blend this bit across now. If we um, knock this down, trying to hide that. There we go, that's much better. And as I go along with the series, there will be times where I change this or add bits in, etc. Um, but yeah. Bish, why can't I re-wing? What do you mean by that, Cameron? So that, I think I'm happy with this section now. This, yeah, that's not too bad, is it? I just like the fact of having a few little, little rocks around as well. Not too many though. Now this part here, I'm thinking we will do the network all the way across. Although saying that, if we're gonna bring down a pathway, we need to make sure that works as well. So let's let's try let's try this out anyway, just for the sake of it. If we're gonna try and bring people down to the beach. Um, how would we do that? So if we went to here, I'm not sure, can we do, will this work going downwards? We could do invisible um, pathways, but let's see, if we were doing something like this, for example, So it would be possible that we can do this to bring people down to the actual beach area. Obviously, I'm not sure yet how we'll um, combine this section, but it's possible obviously to bring it out. Let's have a look. If we were then to add network terraforming across here, raise this up just join the stream is this city based on the white cliff of dover on the uk coast looks epic hey just um it's not the white cliffs of dover but you're very close um it's actually based on the uk island of isle of Wight. um so you're not too far away at all there with your um with your idea well with your guess in fact they are very similar in terms of how they look So can we, this is hiding it. So yeah, look at this. This is actually working perfectly. So it's actually better to use these. 
this method of doing the cliffs because then we can bring all the cliff structure around. Now that, look at that, that looks really good. So we'll be able to have a pathway going down and it actually looks realistic in terms of it's filling that gap in as well. Okay, that's good, that works. I think that's probably the best way it will come together as well. Can we then hide this ugliness here? I'm guessing if we terraform this, if this goes down to a good level of terraforming, then that's pretty much gonna be the best way we can do this. Okay, so there's a bit of strange ugliness here, which is where the node is. Can we change that? Okay, so we do this. We do get a bit on here, but if we then to if we were then to lower this down, there we go. That's not too bad, is it? Okay, so we can we can do that. That's that is possible to do, which is nice to know. Um, and okay, so the rain's coming down. I, I keep turning this off. I'm not sure why the rain keeps coming here. Is there any different type of um, pathways that will look nicer than this one as well? I may have to look in the workshop for some other different ones. So I imagine the, that may be classed as a little bit too steep. I'm guessing we'll have to go for a longer pathway down. Um, but we know that's gonna work, which is good. So what we're gonna do now, if we delete that for now. And we're going to, excuse the squeaky chair, fill out this whole area now. with the terraforming network. What height do we reckon this is? Eight cent eight meters? Pretty much actually, it's not a bad guess. Let's just do it all the way across. Let's sharpen this edge up. So this actually goes up a little bit. Let's go up to, 16's quite high though. Let's just, we'll keep it as it is for now. Keep on going across and across. This bit goes inwards a little bit. Like that. And then come to this big cliff face here, which we can also work on. Okay, so that's our cliff face. And luckily it's already done two nodes on each one, which is pretty much ideal for what we want to do here. So the first part of portal call is to match these two levels up. Which is the opposite side to what I was doing. Okay, never mind. Something like that there. Okay, let's just do that for now. Right, so now we can start moving these bits around. Just giving it a little bit of shape here. Nothing too over the top at the moment, not too bothered about the look of this section here just yet. We'll change as we go along as well. That bit there, that's got a bit 
crazy. Look, we lose. There we go. We'll lose it like that. So, like that. And does this need to go higher up to meet that? That needs to go lower, actually, doesn't it? We can fill these in after. This isn't an issue. some lower bits as well. We'll do this side here nice and high. And you see just doing it slightly just changes the look of this cliff top. I will add the extra nodes in as well after. that we went a bit higher. I think actually we probably would go a bit lower to be honest. So let's get these bits a bit lower down. Let's see how low we need to go here. Same here, so we're just going up and down really, and it seems to be working quite nicely. This bit will raise up after, anyway, it's not too much of an issue. wondering if it's a little bit too high. This part looks fine. This bit here is a little bit feels a bit high, isn't it? Perhaps we'll um, just drop the whole lot of this down a little bit. Wow, lime cliffs in CS. Hey Hobbs Hot Herps Herps Henderson. Herbs Dubson, nice of you to join the stream. So I think that's not too bad now. We need to lower this a bit, the roads. That needs to go up a little bit more. And let's have a look what it looks like from here. So we need to remove, or do we move it forward? Let's just get rid of the terraforming we've already done. Good afternoon, my friend. Hello, Steam Robert. How are you? Nice of you to pop by. You caught us making some cliffs in a very new and fantastic way. I'm guessing the whole road needs to be dropped down as well, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks. I think this section here needs to drop a little bit. good bro giving off that Dover vibe I see that's right yes we're actually building the Isle of Wight which I'm sure you are fully aware of where that is a south coast just past Portsmouth oh don't want to do that so if we then if we're doing this Love it, used to go there a lot as a kid. Yeah, same here, man. That's that's what's given me the inspiration, really, to um, to work on this build. So 
So what's going on here? If we go to there, stunning. I suppose the cliff takes you with lime, and you use and you use the invisible road segment to make the sharp edges. That is exactly it. That is exactly it. So yeah, I've been doing this for a little while now, working on this. Um, this will be the new series, obviously. And um, yes, the, the, this map will be released on the workshop, but it's not a map, it'll be a saved game because I'm doing this in game now, obviously. Um, but yeah, um, Herp, basically this is how we created these sections here. So we're using the um, network, um, what's it called, road segments. Well, it's actually the terraforming network um, by Ronix. So basically just create these. I mean, how much better does that look versus using the um, terraforming? Like that is realistic. That is realism as close as possible within the game's capacity at the moment. And obviously here as well with these cliffs, we're able to make these lovely dents and sort of changes of texture using this method. Um, so you can see how I've done this. We've got the networks here. We've just basically changed the shape, and each time you change the shape, it, you know changes what the face looks like which is just beautiful such a, mu a much better way of doing so and it just looks so much better and it's actually easier believe it or not it's easier to build like this as you can see here all i've done is just put a whole line of these down here um, and we can just move these around and basically raise this up now it really is better isn't it yeah and you've just got more control over what you're doing as well. Like we can move bits around, we can bend the, okay, that's a small one. So we can bend this in across. What can we do with this one? Let's bend this one in across as well. So we get a nice little nuck here. The same across here as well. And it just looks so much more realistic. It really does. And this is certainly something that's not really been achieved in City Skylines yet, in my opinion. Uh, no one's really done a realistic sort of cliff face with the help of uh, Mr. Miyagi um, Ivania we've been able to achieve this now and obviously the um, mod by Ronix terraforming mod wouldn't be able to do it at all without him so obviously a huge shout out to him as well um, but as you can see this is what the terraforming did look like before this is the effects I could get the back part and now we just put this front part in using this new technique um, and basically now if we just get rid of this you can see how much better it actually looks it just works so much better in my opinion I'm hoping you guys agree as well that it just you know for the time it takes as well it's really going to change the way you terraform. So this section here we can uh, obviously raise up as well. Let's get that to the same height as what it was over here. And the good thing is the more nodes you do, the more changes of height you can do as well. So we could pick up this node and be like, actually now we're gonna drop this down, raise it up. Um, this section here, I think we can drop it down so it covers there. It just adds more to the, the design of it and uh, you can just play around with it more as well then. we got to do here so much better than terraforming at all yeah it is, it is. It's, it's good to combine the two though the reason I say that is if I um, quickly jump out of here if we look over at this section that I was creating earlier today um, you get a nice contrast because this is purely terraforming. You can kind of tell because it's a lot more rounded. 
Um, but then over here we did some uh, more of the networked way, which does change the way it looks. And uh, what we can also do as well is what, what I started to do is we can basically create some little tiny um, rock faces here. And just add them around, you know, just put them around, popping out the water. There's always these little rocks around in formation. And it just adds another dimension to, to your build. And the good thing about it is that each time you have something, it's gonna look different every time, if that makes sense. So every time you move something slightly, it's gonna actually form a different look. Like that, as soon as I move that, look, it looks so much more different now. Obviously I don't wanna go over the top of it, but you can see what I mean. The only downside is it does react with what you've already done because it's still a network of road. The game mechanics does alter some bits, but there's ways around it. Like here, for example, this bit I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna just be poking out. It just looks nice. And also you can terraform around it because we're using the network to do this. We're not causing issues to the ground we're working on. So normally if I was a terraforming this close to the edge, we would actually uh, lose the shape of what we've already made. And uh, obviously here, it's a different matter. But I do need to lower this road, I think. It is a bit high. We go to about here. We'll lower it down till that. Oh, that's not a bit annoying though. Okay, that's fine, we'll do that. Yeah, that's true. That is really good. Yeah, it is. It's one of those things, and it's where you know the the game itself has its limitations, but you work around it, and it's so clever to see what people come up with. And uh, you know, it's just things that you fall into. Like I didn't try and set out to try and find a way to make cliffs. I was expecting today's episode, or sorry, today's stream, purely to be, you know just building up and getting ready to start working on it but instead I've spent like you know three hours getting these cliffs looking really really neat and um, it's that sort of thing that really you know inspires me to play the game more let's move this one up I'm guessing if we move that across do we lose that not quite hey Geron welcome back We have to level this up, I think, to hide that. Um, and also, possibly the same here. Can we? Can't quite. We can actually, we can. We can still grab that. Okay, so we can do that instead, then perhaps. If we knock this. And then try and smooth it out. There we go, that's better. That hides that away. Better way of doing that. So we take that height, put it there. That was a 
a bit more of a pain to do, but we can get away with it. We can probably just lower the nose of this road a little bit like that. But we'll come across these bits as we um, as we build. For some reason it doesn't really want to disappear. So those cliffs are looking nice there. Same here. Let's see if we can raise these bits up to make this look a bit nicer. Okay, so we've got a massive cliff face here. Maybe a bit too high, really. Um, let's move this down. And then let's cut the terraforming land down a bit to about here, maybe. Let's try and thin this out. should be able to hide most of this. So then basically we can probably just raise this section up so it overcomes that. So if I knew I was going to do this to start with, I would have um, done this before I'd done all the terrains and stuff, but that is, it is what it is, isn't it? You, gotta, you play as you go along really in this game. Perfect. So to all this bit, there we go, we're getting somewhere. Okay. Try and we can terraform this section a bit more. Let's try and sort out this node here, which is going a little bit screwy. So yeah, that's definitely coming along nicely, and that's even before we've done the little tricks of using more than one node. So let's try that now. So let's put another node here. Let's put another node here. Turn one by one. Like so. Now let's find. Oh, that's the only thing I've noticed. It does go a little bit. If you zoom in too much too quickly, you do lose where you are. 
we raise this up, do we? In case we do get rid of that. Let's do this. Okay, so like that. Drop this down. So it might be a case if I do chop a bit more of this land down, so it's a bit lower. Um, well, I have to relay that road down, which isn't an issue because we do have this bit here as well, which um, we can get array around by changing. But I think these rocks are looking pretty nice. Here we can make a little bit of an indent there. So if we were to level this up, obviously that will change the cliff face here. But look at that, it's like bits like this where it comes out here and goes inwards. It really does look nice. I think I'm going to try Just terraform this little section here because you get we're getting this dark outline which is what you get with the game conflicts with itself and the only reason that's happening is because the terrain is a different height so basically if we do this we should be able to firstly lose those sections there Hopefully we can then force it into responding better. See, so as soon as we change this, we're basically straighten out those nodes and then we're basically then following them across. Some of them are a bit awkward, like these ones here, they don't seem to be wanting to change direction so much, but they will eventually. Once they do, leave them alone. <laughs> it's the best way around this. Okay. So these cliffs are really high. I know that, but it is kind of what it is in terms of what the build's going to be like. So what's happening to this piece here? So this is because of the road. Some of these bits I don't mind staying as they are. There's no reason why they shouldn't be. And what I'm thinking, if you know, if you imagine the way you come onto this beach, this looks like a perfect spot to have a sort of pathway down. Um, out for some reason that's going a bit funny there let's try and get it all to the same level like that So we're going to try this out now then. Let's firstly give it a save. I'm going to try and put a little pathway down to the beach to see if it is possible and if it's easy to do. Okay. 
And I'm probably only going to be streaming for another 15 minutes, guys. I've got a few things I need to sort out. It's getting close to that time in England where we uh, decide to fill our stomachs up as well. So probably go for another 10, 15 minutes. And uh, we shall, let's have a look. Okay, so we need to go to Pathways. I think we used this one last time, didn't we? So let's just put something down just for now. Like so, okay. So we're probably gonna want to do a few different nodes as well, but for tar starters, let's just drop it down to land value. Sure, why that's not looking like it's connecting properly. Looks a bit odd. Let's try that again. So that should be at ground level here. That's better, so that's connected to it. Okay, so line slope doesn't do what I want it to do really. So instead, we'll get rid of that. Start again, we'll put that there. We'll do this up to here. That's interesting. I'm guessing that's not even going to do anything though, is it? Let's go back, let's jump back onto the road, or the pavement in this case. Um, we want it to be a bridge. Let's go like that. Okay, that's good. So this will be sort of bending itself around as close to the as that as we can. And then from my experiments earlier, we are able to almost pull the whole cliff across. It's gonna look a bit messy, I think. We may have to um try a few different ways of doing this but you get the idea that this is going to be possible to do let's start from fresh let's take that off let's get the network again we'll do it as its own separate one I think if we just do it next to it, yes, we can get that look we want here. So at least we know we can get people down to the beach as well from here. Um, we want to drop the cliff over a bit maybe can we go a bit like that like so I guess and then drop it down to the same sort of height I think that's okay I think we can get away with that 
So we do have a way down to the beach, which is good. And obviously there, the pathway will be sort of continuing itself around as well. Drop that down a bit as well. There we go, that's much, much better. So hopefully we can then get people to actually come across and down this bridge onto the beach. That's the sort of plan we're going with here. The only downside is there is a limitation to how close we can get to these rocks before um, it goes a bit strange. But I think that's close enough to really look realistic. So we've got that one going down here. We'll do a few more as well. Won't do it today, but um, we can do that as well. Goes back to terraforming. Clean that bit up. Try and fill this gap in, don't we? Get something like that, and you'd have like a pathway going across here as well, I would imagine. Um, which we don't need to do today, but that's the sort of idea that's more of the actual build itself that we're doing that sort of stuff. I'm guessing it could also, let's have a save first, because I'm happy with that. So, I'm not sure if it would work, but I was wondering if we then, if we raise this bit up. Could do something like that. And then maybe get a Vanya's Cliffs. That's interesting. There's only really, really small ones. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't realise they went over actual roads, etc. We could just put something like this here, couldn't we? Just to fill in that to make it look like it's still part of this cliff like that like that would work I think That's a good thing about these because the textures are almost well they are 3d textures you can put them down it does look like it's properly raised up so we could also do the same this side but i'm thinking it probably looks okay as it is we could just put some of these cliff decals in this section here to kind of cover up what we've 
今日は But I think that looks good. I think I'm happy with that. And I think that's where we're going to leave it today, guys.、Um, so, as always, thank you very much for your time and watching today.、Um, if you're not already following the channel, please do so. Hit that sub button. If you're new to the channel, it'd be great to have you along for the ride. The new series, which、um, remains nameless as of right now,、um, will be starting shortly.、Um, I say shortly, probably in a month or so, episode one will come out, but we will see how well things develop here.、Um, other than that, guys,、um, unless there's any other questions, I think I'm going to log off here.、Um, maybe do another stream this week. We'll see how we get on for time. But I think really, really pleased with today's、uh, work. Really have discovered a great way to make some cliff faces.、Um, and yes. Thank you all, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you all in the next video or next stream. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.